Hi, Jenny here. This is a follow-on from the last video about photosynthesis and how trees use um, carbon dioxide and water to make uh, sugar for the, for the tree and oxygen for us. And I was thinking about how we could explain this to kids. And it would be really, really fun to do something like this at home. I wish I had six kids here, but I don't. And my daughter's 24 and long gone, so I have to imagine this. But let's just do this really simple. Let's say you've got six kids or, <coughs> or three or two. It's good to have those uh, multiples. And what you could do is get a big piece of paper um, or, or draw on the sand or whatever and uh, draw up a big tree and talk about how the top of the tree is this big. That means that underneath the tree is something just the same size. There is as much under the tree as there is on top. It's almost like a reflection. And talk to the kids about how the soil is not just brown stuff that's holding up this little stick figure of a tree. It's actually uh, a whole hidden universe going on underneath with the roots and that the tree is being fed up through the soil. So you draw this tree picture on some big piece of paper, on the kitchen table, and then I'm thinking you could uh, make all these molecules of oxygen and carbon and um, uh, hydrogen and so on using, for example, carbon. You could take, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> excuse me, uh, some chocolate biscuits. Um, the hydrogen, you could take maybe some little red, um, uh, you know, jelly lollies or something like that. Uh, oxygen, for some reason, I think should be white, and that would be really nice as marshmallows and so on. You get the idea, right? And so you need enough of these um, um, uh, uh, edible molecules to have your inputs and your outputs. So on the input side, you need six CO2s and you need uh, six H2Os. So you need your uh, browns and reds and whites and what have you to set that up and get the kids to help set that up. Uh, the CO2s are uh, over the soil and the H2Os are under the soil. <coughs> And then they will feed those into the tree and you can talk about the little machinery that's happening with the, the sun coming out. And then separate them into their piles. So you have the brown ones and the red ones and the white ones. And uh, then, of course, you get the output. And this is where you get to sort the, <coughs> the, the, uh, the biscuits and the lollies and all the rest of it into something complex, into the, the sugar package, right, that I talked about before, the C6H12O6. So you put together... Uh, six of your little carbons and 12 of your um, little H's and six of your little O's, whatever they are, marshmallows and so on. And then you have a spare pile of six uh, white marshmallows, which is the oxygen. And you can talk about how that goes back up into the air and that's good for us because we really need that. This is the work that trees are doing for us. But that trees are doing two important other jobs and that is that they, one, they're building themselves, nice, uh, and two, they are feeding everything under the soil. And then maybe you want to get the kids to draw little microbes and worms and insects and bugs and, you know, all that good stuff that's under the soil. And they could take their sugar package down and feed it out to all the microbes uh, on their drawing. And then, of course, you know, there's plenty of uh, uh, sweets and biscuits for everyone to eat afterwards, which is why it's good to have... Uh, two kids, three kids or six kids because uh, you're going to have trouble otherwise dividing everything in a good way. <laughs> but, but seriously, this is a really valuable discussion and if you can make it a little bit fun, just maybe it will stick for your kids because the carbon cycle, this is where I get serious, the carbon cycle is the single most important piece of knowledge that we will have for the future, in my humble opinion, because this is how we fix climate change. And if we don't understand nature, and we don't understand the carbon cycle, we will keep uh, missing the point completely. So let's start with our kids who are really small and get them to understand that, you know, the chocolate biscuits and the oxygen and the marshmallows and everything, this is the carbon cycle. This is who we are and how our planet works and how we as people will survive and have a really good time with the marshmallows. <laughs>